Hello, this is Joe with the Idaho Auction Barn. Um, we've got the contents of this home that we're going to be selling all for one bid. Nice crock pot there. I'm going to bring you inside. It's a nice, clean home. There's a lot of product in it everywhere. It's going to be nice, nice product. Um, it's all for one bid. All the drawers are probably going to have things in them as well so your responsibility will be to take it all and uh, furniture everything else I'll kind of give you a quick walk through here in the kitchen of course all the cupboards are going to be full pantries full the appliances except for the two appliances that are selling that are in the garage all the appliances stay with the house so the washer, dryer, fridge, stove, dishwasher, those are going to stay with the home. Going to have some cute collectibles in here. All the cupboards, and we'll add some pictures as well. Let's see, back over here, let's take you in this side. So, washer and dryer stays, anything in the cupboards goes. The garage, all the contents of the garage, unless it's attached, um, goes. So these cupboards and everything, if they're screwed to the wall, they stay. If they're loose, they go. So I believe that one looks like it's screwed to the wall. I'm not sure about this white cabinet. Um, it might be loose to go, but all of these shelves cell those are really nice gorilla rack shelves the ladder several ladders got a cute crib back there i see dutch ovens um she was uh, a quilter so there's a lot of quilting things that uh, throughout uh, both of the fridges they're off right now they were running but they're off right now um, those go they're a little bit gunky inside but they should clean up pretty quick pretty easy more Dutch oven and tools. So everything in the garage. This bedroom right here was her quilting room and everything in here goes. There's the desks, the dresser, and again, everything's gonna be, I'll try and take some pictures as well. That all looks like quilting supplies. Just typical things you're going to find in, in a lot of homes, drawers and whatnot. Pens, office supplies, more office supplies. There's some luggage. Uh, the computer. He thought it was a Windows 10. Um, not sure exactly how old it is, but that is included as well. All the office supplies there. All this, I believe, is mostly quilting. Um, really nice sewing cabinet. More quilt supplies. Let me open up this cupboard here. So there's quilting books. Quilting supplies. Quilting supplies. Nice oak cabinet. And again, the oak cabinet is included. Uh, T-shirt projects, more quilting and, and craft projects, more craft projects there. So, back up in this room, again you're buying the contents. Got some jewelry. Nice china. Really a cute uh, corner table there. Wow, that is a... Feels like a soapstone or something like that. A jewelry box with some jewelry. That 
one snagged. I didn't mean to dump it all. I'm thinking most of it <coughs> is probably costume, but again, you never know. Back up in here, look at all these really cool collectible mirrors. We've got, of course, the baskets. Uh, things that are attached to the house, so the, the window coverings obviously stay with the home. Anything that's part of the house itself is going to stay. Blinds, window coverings, things are attached. Um, the closet and all the clothes and contents of the closet. <clears throat> Some luggage. Nice home. Uh, got two more bedrooms. Looks like a chest set in there. She's kind of into crafts, arts and crafts. Nice looking lamps. Really nice quilt. I'm imagining that might be previous owner's handiwork. This piece right here, Mayo, made in Spain. Looks like it's in really good condition. That looks like a nice piece. China hutch in here. Some clear glass. And then not much in this bathroom, hall closet, hall closet somewhat full. Record player. This bedroom here doesn't have much in it, no bed or anything like that. And some collectibles and whatnots in the closet. It's kind of a cool looking purse right there. That's got some age to it. So I'll try and include, like I said, a few close-up pictures, but you're buying the contents of the house and the garage. There's a couple things on the back porch um, that you can take. Most of it's just going to be what's in the house and the garage. Um, we're not going through the flower beds and everything else, pulling anything out of the flower beds. Those all stay, the little statues and whatnot stay with the house. It's just the interior. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to call me and uh, otherwise we'll see you online.